Here's the igniter. Uh, basically it's quite simple, just two power wires input. There must be some sort of a step-up converter inside and there's sort of a, almost like a Tesla coil arrangement between these two terminals with a very heavy wire around an iron core that generates a high voltage pulse and if the heavy wire can carry the full lamp operating current after the arc is struck. So I'm suspecting if it's like a Tesla coil it'll have a spark gap and if the gap is too small you won't get enough voltage in the secondary and you won't be able to ignite the arc. You can also see there's quite a bit of uh, UV damage here from the uh, uh, light from the lamp. It's actually, the plastic's actually almost disintegrating here. And the whole thing looks almost uh, amateurish. It's like in a, in a project box. They must not build many of these. They must have figured that was just the cheapest way to do it. Let's crack this thing open. Also have to be careful when opening this because there's probably capacitors in here that could be charged, so I'll have to figure out where they are and discharge them. get you out of here before doing this. There we go. Yeah, as we expected, just a big, uh, very heavy coil. Looks like it's made out of about 6 by 6 millimeter solid uh, copper. Let's get a better view of that little uh, driver circuit. Okay, that's those two capacitors discharged. Now, for this one, it's a bit difficult. I'd have to just carefully remove the board and discharge them from the bottom. Okay, that board's safe now. I've traced out the circuit uh, for this igniter. It's actually very, very simple. Um, it's basically, it's almost exactly like a Tesla coil. In fact, uh, the input, these, the input wires here come in, um, go through a resistor, and charge up a uh, capacitor, 2.2 microfarad, 200 volt. Um, when that capacitor charges up enough this DIAC fires and dumps it into the primary of the uh, transformer. That's uh, this one right here, which looks basically like a xenon flash lamp trigger transformer. Uh, a DIAC is basically almost a solid state spark gap. It has a high impedance initially. When the voltage across it gets high enough, it uh, comes low impedance, almost a short circuit. So this uh, repeatedly charges up and discharges, generating a voltage uh, pulsing voltage waveform on the outputs, and that uh, goes through just a voltage doubler. Um, that charges up these uh, capacitors. These are 15 uh, kilovolts, 1 nanofarad, uh, so is that one. And that initially the spark gap is open, of course. So and once these, these capacitors charge up through the uh, output transformer, and once the voltage on them is high enough, the spark gap fires, shorting this side out, effectively connecting these capacitors straight across one turn of the uh, ignition uh, pulse coil, pulse transformer. That produces a much larger voltage across the uh, lamp to ignite it. In this case I suspect something is wrong with this spark gap because the uh, it seems to be firing too often which indicates the voltage is too low. And this over on this unit it seems to be a uh, sealed unit. I'm suspecting either air is leaked in or something else has gone wrong, a jostle during shipping or something. So we'll have to uh, see what we can do if we can replace it just with a plain spark gap. I notice um, there is the number 8.3 scribbled onto the side. Let me see if I can get it in focus. It's hard to see but there's a very faint 8.3 scribbled on it so I'm figuring that may be the uh, intended firing voltage in kilovolts. It seems about right for a circuit using 15 kilovolt capacitors. 
but let's uh, I'm gonna power this up here on the bench and see how much of a spark we can get out of the uh, main pulse transformer and here we go you can hear the pulse frequency of the step-up converter sounds like maybe 300 or 500 Hertz definitely we're not getting reliable uh, firing on the spark gap we're only getting maybe 8 kilovolts out of that I need to figure out how to determine what voltage that uh, gap is actually firing at. Temporarily we'll just replace the spark gap with a bit of wire that we can adjust the gap on. Much too small a gap. Discharge the caps. Let's try again. That's a little bit better. I think it still should be. Uh, this should be sparking about three centimeters or so to get the uh, 30 odd kilovolts required. Not quite enough, or not too much gap, sorry. Still too much. It's a little better. Still not getting much voltage out of it though. Poor assembly on this thing, the wire just fell out of the IDC contact. Anyway, I'm just going to try this uh, now with this new spark gap and we'll see if it ignites the lamp or not, even though it's not producing the, uh, it doesn't appear to be producing the required voltage. Okay, here we go, let's see if that works. Oh nice, that's working properly. Okay, just need to close that back up and put it back in. Maybe see if I can uh, make that spark gap a little bit more stable as well. <laughs> 